What is up, FIFA faithful? Bearhams here with the 17th installment of Yisquan Gods with Bayern Munich 2. And we have a lot to talk about before we get into gameplay. First, we'll talk about how we did off camera, as I did play a couple of games, as we'll go through here. Carl's Ruhr, since we've played him before, we're not going to do that again. Beat him by a score of 2 to nil. Then we beat Erzgeberger by a score of 2 to 1. Once again, another 2 1 victory against St. Pauli. And then this happened. Yes, you're reading that right. We beat Regensburg by a score of 9 to 1. And it was only one guy and one guy only. It's the guy who's been performing this whole season, Mateusz Studzinski. Seven goals. Seven goals and two assists. I've never had that type of performance. Never in this game. I, I don't remember the last time anyone's had that before. And uh, there, there's a reason why that happened. Remember, the team that we played was Regensburg. And this is where they're sitting currently in the table. 18th. They haven't won a single game yet. Four draws, 12 losses, a goal differential of negative 33. They are terrible. There's a rhyme and reason to why we destroyed them 9-1. to one. And better yet, after we played Dusseldorf away, we get that round of 16 match against Erzgebirge. We play him again. So we might have an encore performance of that 9-1 to victory. In some other news, we have sold Eric Pania to Bristol City. He'll be joining current loanee Lucas Kruger as he's having some time in Bristol. And yeah, it was because he lost his third choice center back spot to Piosek. And it was actually really funny. We were going to send him to Santos, another Mexican side. But uh, Bristol City just wanted him more. And so there we go. Piosek, sorry, secured his spot as third choice defenseman. First game of the episode, we go against a very difficult Dusseldorf side at Dusseldorf Arena. Santi Vera sees a run from Anderson. He'll get a run from the Swede. So here comes Anderson. Anderson cuts back. Tass went through to Gory. Gory with the shot, but two near post. So we'll hit the billboard. Does cut the corner up, but maybe a chance to work the ball inside is Vicasso. Tries to cross one in. Good block, but it's going to stay with Dusseldorf. There's a through ball. Was he onside? No, he was offside just by hair, so thankfully we don't give up the first goal. Ow. Can't get past him. There's a shot. Great save, Dudzinski. Vera. Vera to Vitaly. Vitaly's going to get Anderson in on the action as Anderson does get a cross in. Far post looking for Gory. But goalkeeper does get a hand to it. It's now... <gasps> oh my god. If the dude would have scored that. Oh my god. What a great play by the dude just to get that effort out. And yeah, you would you would have heard me screaming. More opportunities, but there's a good interception by Vakoya, and we can get some going here. As here's Dudzinski. Dudzinski still gonna run. He has the space for it. Why not? As Dudzinski tries to tap one through to Gory. Gory, chance for a shot. Rebound. Oh! What a goal. Simon Gory. I don't know what he did. I wasn't trying like anything fancy, but it just a slow roller. Studzinski does find him, does take a deflection. And it's just the tap in. So maybe one last chance here for Dusseldorf as Ampama tries to get a pass through, but it is intercepted by Vitali. Vitali tries to slide a pass through. Does get the block though. Maybe a chance here. Anderson. Ah, it's going to lose it. He's going to clear that out, and that will most likely be the last kick of the game. So we do get the victory. A interesting goal by Gory, as it barely got past the goalkeeper. And we do something for the first time. We beat Dusseldorf away from home. Second game of the episode, we look to march on to the quarterfinals of the Deutsche Pokal as we take on Isgebega. Sure is a snowy one here, so I'm hoping that brings some sort of good luck. Able to shield it away. There's a beautiful through ball. Vitaly, can he get it? Yes, he does. Vitaly with the shot. Good save. Rebound. Yes. Great start. It is Felix Jungbauer who picks up the rebound. Our Swiss CDM turned right back, turned CDM. 
able to start the festivities here at the Isberg Stadion. And we got a 1-0 lead. Rizzuto, that pass gets intercepted. Maybe a, oh, here's a chance. Maybe as Petroipa is going to corral it down. Petroipa still running. Taps it through Uruga. Easy finish. Right at the half hour mark. Petroipa being a nice striker. Finding the Polish right mid. Already we got ourselves a two goal lead. So there is Urga embracing our manager Federico Aguilera. So yeah, this team is coming together. Now it's the backups who are delivering as they've had a couple of games together. Starting to form that chemistry together. And we can really make a cup run this year. So that will be the end of the first half here at a snowy Izgabig Stadion. Great start from the backups. Jungbauer getting that goal. Uruga getting that goal. And it's almost set in stone that we'll be in the quarterfinals. There's a chance for a through ball. Great save, Dudzinski. Crossing the box. Headed. Oh, good save. Cleared out. Thank you. Whoa, all right. Urga with the uh, Zlatan kick. Doesn't work out well as Chris Day is going to have to clear it out. Oh, my God. Pielsek, great block. Another great tackle. That time it was Campanucci. This defense. My God, this defense is just locked down at the moment. There you go. Campanucci, being the captain that he is, able to stick a boot out there. Oh, can you get the... There he is. There we go. Urga running through. Looking for two. He'll get two. We have buried Erzgeberga here at their own stadium. Petroipa's second assist on the day. I'm liking his play. Don't worry. I'll put him in the next game. That's for sure. Brilliant play by the backups. Urga with the brace. Petroipa with two assists. We're heading on to the quarterfinals question is do we get another Bundesliga 2 side or a Liga 3 side or do we face our first Bundesliga side in this cup for the quarterfinals of the Deutsche Pokal we'll be taking on Hamburg at the Grunwalder Stadion couple bits of info before we get into the game against Regensburg Dudzinski since he's doing great we're gonna ride the hot hand and we're gonna give Kampanucci a break since P.O. Sex been doing a good job we'll pair him up with Schwaba and here we go. Part two, Regensburg. Can we score another nine goals? I think Regensburg is out for vengeance today after that thwomping nine to one. And here's Anderson. Anderson having to cut back. Gets a good pass to Gory. Gory cuts back. He'll find Dudzinski. Dudzinski fires. Sorry, got one in. This might be the start of something crazy as Mateusz Dudzinski gets his eighth goal against Regensburg. And they're already fearing it, the Regensburg faithful. So here's Anderson. Anderson, Dudzinski, taps it through. There's another one here for Dudzinski. Yes, oh my God. Regensburg, the nightmares are beginning. Just 24 minutes in, and they've already led in two goals to Dudzinski. This is going to get ugly, folks. This is going to get ugly quick. Here's a chance for maybe Regensburg to get a goal. Oh, P.O. Sec. Look at that. Just a beauty. And even when he loses it, storms right back and gets it. There's a good through ball. Yep. They finally do put one in. I think our team was getting a little too antsy in terms of trying to pile on more goals against Regensburg. And now, at least, they're going to make it interesting. Dudzinski. Going to take a shot from distance. Oh, my God. Imagine if that went in. Not going to win is it's going to stay with Regensburg. They really want blood after getting embarrassed. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, no. Aguilar is not thrilled with his team right now as, again, after beating them 9-1, to they've come back and they're looking to win this one. Okay, Vitaly. 
Finds Vera. Vera gets one through to Dudzinski. Dudzinski able to head it down. Dudzinski, yes. Not quite seven goals, but he does get a hat trick again against Regensburg. He's able to bat down the Vera pass. I think Vera's got to be on 10 or 11 assists already. As we do retake the lead. He's trying to open up play here. Oh, Dudzinski looking for an assist. He's going to get it. Brilliant strike from Petroipa. He can do it in the cups. He can do it in the regular season. Beautiful strike. For a second, I thought that was just going to get saved, but it does hit the hand of the goalkeeper. And we have secured this victory. And we get this beautiful camera angle. Okay, it's a little better. And that is going to end it. So, not quite the seven goal performance from Dudzinski in the first game against Regensburg, but he's still going to get a game ball. And 10 goals against one team in one month is still a dominating performance. As we do win after a little bit of a scare. Again, they're probably looking for their first victory of the season. And that would have been embarrassing if we gave it to them. But after 90 minutes here at the Continental Arena, it's Bayern Munich 2 coming out victorious. I did simulate all of January and the transfer window, and there were a couple of deals. We sent Pierre White, a guy that we've never played since we had him on loan most of the time. We're sending him to a Sporting Gijon for a price of 1.6 million euros. We already saw the Pania transfer, but we are sending Eberly to Romania to FCSB. And then we're also sending Bruno Dreyer to Reading on a loan. So that is all the transfer dealings for January. All right, I did lie. This will be the final game of the episode. And because we have that big match against Hamburg in a couple days, what I will be doing is putting in all the players that were on loan and they brought back and they're not going to go back on loan. I hope they're back on loan by the end of this window. But uh, yeah, we have Cartel playing left mid. We have Casper and Klein as our center back duo. And then we have Justice Graf as our CDM. So those were the guys that came back on loan. And hopefully they can continue our winning ways. We're going to find some space. Does get tripped up. That will be a penalty. Benatelli, the balding man, sticking out his foot in the box. Now we'll give Gory. Gory's our usual penalty kick taker so he does he does put it on target but Alagbe he's watched some tape again we always go left finds Chem Kartal Kartal gets tripped up and is that going to be a red that is a red bald man Benatelli Gory looking for an opening Taps that through to Dudzinski. Oh, what a beautiful pass by Simon Gori. And with the man down, I feel like the floodgates are going to open here. Good pass through. Here's Vakoya. Vakoya, can he finish? Yes, he does. Brilliant passing from essentially the whole team. So there is goal number two, and I'm hoping for more. Kai Casper wins it, but it's going to stay with them, though. There's a shot. Oh, hits the post. Rebound. Nope, they got it. Ah, uh, the dreaded rebound in this game. Don't know where it's going to bounce most of the time. Bounces straight to the opponents. Tadzinski has a run from Kartal. Kartal taps that through. Gory cuts. Fires. Goal. Beautiful near post. Simon Gory. He is now in the shadow of Dudzinski, but... He's still scoring goals. I believe that is his ninth on the season. Gill will find Petroipa on the wing. Here is Petroipa trying to storm down, try to get past Junio, which he will. Does get a chip in. Gory! What a beaut. Oh, my goodness. Bicycle kick. <laughs> so, yeah, he didn't get the penalty kick against the log bay, but he gets a brace. And that beautiful bicycle kick as it was well set up by Petroipa. Who again, we need to get him some more time. Not only can he score goals, but he can set up passes just like that. Simon Gori. That was dirty. Oh, right between the legs, no less.
after that red card, it was all downhill for St. Pauli, though they did get an equalizer from Denozo Alonso. But Simon Gori with a brace. Dudzinski with a goal. Mwah. Great way to end this episode. To finish off the episode, we'll take a look at stats. But before that, let's take a look at the standings. As even though we are killing it at the moment in terms of goals and whatnot... We're still in third place, as there are still two undefeated teams in Augsburg and Union Berlin. Taking a look at stats, we'll go by appearance quickly. It's Campanucci with 11 assists, Santiago Vera with 10 assists, and then 20 games, 25 goals, 8 assists for Dudzinski. Jesus, just been a tank. It's Nicholas Schwab with 2 assists, and then Gory. Gory? I mean, it's funny, like, he's not even having the best season. He only has 10 goals, but he has 11 assists. We're just going to quickly go through the stats here. I'll mention some interesting ones to note. I'm loving John Anderson at the moment. His assist output has been great in Bundesliga, too. Faridi Said and Petroipa have been fantastic. Again, i got to get more playing time for those guys. That's the problem. It's like, we're trying to get as much playing time to everybody as possible, but there's just so few games. So we also have Peter Sigmund. He's been doing good. He's been doing great as well. Mikhail Dudzinski. Piosek. That's incredible, too. 50% clean sheet rate. So other than that, that is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This has been Bearhams, and as always, to the loo.